this is the first ever episode of Let's Play Planescape Torment, featuring none other than yours truly, the vocal terrorist Jesse Rain. Uh, so, did all the, uh, the starting stuff uh, so I could turn the music off, the background music off, so I don't hit any content violations. I'm going to try and figure out how to play this game. Basically, if you've never played this game so far, um, I've woken up on a slab, I'm supposed to be dead, and there's a floating skull telling me things, and I'm clicking the wrong buttons already. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, so left click is move. These are Done. based on the old AD&D style things. Um, I'm just going to pick these up. Uh, I apologise, by the way, for the graphical quality. This is a really old game. All right. Um, very, very odd. I've had it for a long time. I bought it off goodoldgames.com, uh, which is really good for this kind of thing. But basically, uh, when I asked people what kind of RPG they'd like to see, the resounding answer was uh, Planescape Torment. It's been very, very popular. I'm looking for a thing, basically, so I can kill these I'm gone. walkers. Um, maybe over here. Just some kind of weapon would be nice. And there is nothing in here. Whatsoever. Uh, let's try this table. There we go. Scalpel. Right. How more? I assume will tell me how to equip. All right. You found the scalpel. Now go get those corpses and don't worry. I'll stay back and provide valuable tactical advice. Um, I'm going to sass him. Uh, I will be helping you. Good advice is hard to come by. <laughs> I meant helping attacking the corpse. Me, I'm a romantic, not a soldier, I just get in the way. There is a lot of text in this game, by the way, guys. I'm going to try and read it out, because I know reading text at this kind of resolution will be kind of shitty. Uh, when I accept this cause you will be right there with me, or you'll be the next thing that I push the I'll just go, all oh, right, then I'm sick of this. Although you can select the attack cursor from the quick menu, pressing the A key towards the attack cursor without using the menu. Let's go. A. Attack. Why can't I attack? Oh, let's select weapon. Fist. That's a problem. Um, okay, inventory screen. Here we go. Scalpel. Um, there we go. Look at that. I don't know. By the way, I'm playing a fighter in this. Um, I don't know how to get out of here. There we go. A attack. Oh, there we go. I have to slip the bottom of it. So now we're getting an auto attack, thankfully. Alright. Nothing in there. So, this Alright. Picking this stuff up. Down, let us talk. Um, I'm gone. Sure, why not? Let's just go for the last thing first. Okay. Oh, I appear to have selected more somehow. Alright. Oh, um, I got, uh, my name was Ah, that would be part of the problem then, if I can just move them away. And I want to pick this up. There we go. Got the key. Alright. Life is good. We are on the way. Got some bandages as well to heal up with. Done. And now I assume I can leave. And now this will be the question. Whether or not the game crashes now when I leave the room, we'll right. find out. If it does, I apologise. Here we go. Done. No, it did not. Hooray! Psst. Some advice, Chief. I keep it quiet from here on. No need to put any more corpses in the dead book than necessary, especially the fans. Plus, killing them might draw the caretakers here. Hmm. Who are these caretakers? call themselves the Dustmen. You can't miss them. They have an obsession with black and rigor mortis of the face. They're an adult bunch of ghoulish death worshippers. They believe everybody should die sooner, better than later. Why do these Dustmen care if I escape? Weren't you listening? I said the Dusties believe everybody's got to die sooner, better than later. Okay, okay yeah, I wasn't really listening. I was kind of reading out loud. You think the corpses you've seen are happier in the dead book than out of it? Where did these corpses come from? Death visits the plains every day, Chief. These shamblers are all that's left of the poor sods who sold their bodies to the caretakers after death. Uh, please own female corpses, why not? <laughs> oh, this game is hilarious. 
Uh, well, are you serious? Look, Chief, these dead chits are the last chance for a couple of hardy bashers like us. We need to be chivalrous. No hacking them up for keys, no lopping their limbs off, things like that. Last chance? What are you talking about? Chief, they're dead, we're dead. See where I'm going? Eh? Eh? Ah, you can't be serious. <laughs> oh my god. We already got an opening line with these limping ladies. We've all died at least once. We'll have something to talk about. They'll appreciate men with our kind of death experience. Uh, didn't you say before that I'm not dead? That was in the opening bit that you guys didn't see before I hit record because I needed to turn the background music off. Well, alright, you might not be dead, but I am. For my own setting, I wouldn't mind sharing a coffin with some of these fine sinewy cadavers I see here. Mort starts clacking his teeth as if in anticipation. Of course, the caretakers would have to part with them first, and that's not likely. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Look, Chief, it's obvious you're still a little addled after your kiss with death. So I've got two bits of advice for you. One, if you've got questions, ask me. Alright? Uh, speak to a party member, set the talk option from the quick menu, then left-click on the party member you wish to speak to. Okay, if I have any questions, I'll ask. Second, if you're half as forgetful as you seem to be, start writing stuff down. Whenever you come across something that might be important, jot it down so you don't forget it. Ah, so it's supposed to be a journal thing. Uh, I've had that journal so I'm going to do that. Start a new one then, Chief. No loss. There's plenty of parchment ink around here to last you. Okay, I'll make a new one. So, like, okay, you just need to use the journal thing. Updated my one. journal. So we now have a journal function. I'm gone. Very, very nice. And I will not kill All these right. workers since uh, apparently it's been an important thing. I'm gone. I'm going to explore up here. And uh, let's go through this door. I'm gone. We shall see what is going on. So it looks like basically I've been, I'm brought back from the dead. I'm and gone. Apparently the point of this game is to figure out exactly what's going on and who I am and stuff. Um, I really know nothing about it. Okay, I'm going to talk to this scribe. This scribe looks very old. His skin is wrinkled and has a slight trace of yellow, like old parchment. Charcoal grey eyes lie within an angular face, and a large white beard flows down the front of his robes like a waterfall. His bleeding is ragged and irregular, but even his occasional coffin does not slow the scratching of his quill pan. Uh, greetings. The scribe stops scratching in the book before him, then looks up. His eyes are like two nails driven into his skull. So, he sounds tired, as if he has repeated the same thing many times before. You have awoken from your sleep and returned to your dream, he continues more respectfully. Well met again, restless one. Restless one, do you know me? Yeah. Know you? I... There is a trace of bitterness in the scribe's voice as he speaks. I have never known you, restless one. No more than you have known yourself. He is silent for a moment. For you have forgotten, have you not? Who are you? That's always the question, and the wrong question. As always. He bows slightly, but the movement suddenly sends him into a bout of coughing. I... <coughs> <coughs> he pauses for a moment, catches his breath. I am Dar. Perhaps you can answer some questions for me, Dar. Updated my journal. Oh, don't update. Very well. What did you wish to know? Okay, what is this place? You are in the mortuary, restless one. Again, you have come. Before he can finish... <laughs> Sorry, I have the mind of a child. Before he can finish, Dahl breaks into a fit of coughing. After a moment, he calms himself and his breathing resumes its ragged wheeze. This is the waiting room for those about to depart the shadow of this life. Okay, click for more. Oh, no. Um, restless one. Restless is as good a term as any. Dahl draws a ragged breath. Something keeps you here, does it not? Something that must be resolved, some passion that must be quenched before you can reach the true death. True death? True death is non-existence, a state devoid of reason, of sensation, of passion. Dahl coughs, then gives a ragged breath. A state of purity. Sounds like oblivion. Why would anyone want that? Is it worse than remaining in the shadow of what life once was? I think not. Shadow of life? Yes. A shadow. You see, rest this one, this life, it is not real. Your life, my life, they are shadows, flickerings of what life once was. This life is where we end up after we die, and here we remain, trapped, caged until we can achieve the true death. What makes you think this life isn't real? What makes you think this life is real? Look inside yourself. Do you not feel something lacking? Dahl shakes his head. This is a purgatory. There is only sorrow here, misery, torment. These are not the elements that make up life. They are part of the cage that traps us in this shadow. 
Uh, I think your fatalism's gotten the better of you. Those elements are part of life, but not the whole of it. Dahl shakes his head. Passions carry weight. They anchor many to this shadow of life, and as long as one clings to emotion, they will be continually reborn into this life, forever suffering, never knowing the purity of true death. I see. How does one escape the cycle of rebirth and achieve this true death? Kill your passion. Strip yourself of the need for sensation. When you are truly cleansed, then the cycle of rebirth will end, and you achieve peace. Dull sighs. It sounds like a death rattle in his throat. Past these shells of ours, past the eternal boundary, lies the peace that all souls seek. The eternal boundary? The boundary between the shadow of this life and the true death. Okay, I'm tired of that now. Uh, what is this person? How do I get here? Can you tell me how to get out of here? Uh, can you tell me how to get out of here? Hmm, the front gate is the most obvious exit, but they will not let anyone other than Dustman pass. Dahl breaks into a ragged cough, then continues. One of the guides has a f by the front gate has a key to it, but it is unlikely he will open it for you unless you are extremely persuasive. Uh, I have some other questions. Uh, Updated my journal. Ooh. I know scant little of you, restless one. I know little more of those that have journeyed with you and who now lie in our keeping. Dahl sighs. I ask that you no longer ask others to join with you, restless one. Where you walk, so walks misery. Let your burden be your own. There are others who have journeyed with me? Updated my journal. Do you not know the woman's corpse interred in the memorial hall below? I had thought that she had travelled with you in the past. Dahl looks like he's about to start coughing again, then catches his breath. Am I mistaken? Where is her body? The Northwest Memorial Hall on the floor below us. Check the bre the beers there. Um, I don't know that word. Her name should be on one of the memorial plaques. Mayhap that will revive your memory. May I will go to the memorial hall below and see if I can find her body. As you turn to leave, Dahl speaks. Know this. I do not envy you, restless one. To be reborn as you would be a curse that I could not bear. You must come to terms with it. At some point, your path will return you here. Dahl coughs. The sound rattles in his throat. It is the way of all things, flesh and bone. Now perhaps we will meet again, Dahl. Uh, I'm gone. I so, I need to get to the memorial hall below. Get the silver shark, can't get through that, okay. Uh, so I don't know how to get through to the memorial hall. This all right. Locked. Um, okay, let's go over this. Oh, look at that, there's a thing up there, so I must have to go that way. That's fine, so it uh, looks like my quest is to go to the memorial hall. I'm going to take that and take that. Thank you. I'm gone. And uh, I'm going to go to the memorial hall. Where's Mort, by the way? Is he not following me? Um, how do I make Mort follow me? Wait, do I have to do this for both characters? Because that's really, really annoying. Alright. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave All right. more behind. Um, I'm gone. Because that's not so I can't go that way. Um, Done. Is there a map function? Yes, there is. Receiving room stairs up, down. Oh! Uh, below us. I need to go there then, don't I? Stairs. Here. Is this where the stairs are? Oh, that's where the stairs are. Like here. All right. Right. Uh, apologies for this, guys. Now we have to wait for holding shift to go any faster. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, so we can speed things up, that's nice. And I can't do that anyway, so what was the point? Done. Hey guys, by the way, I'm really not very good at um, these kind of games. First off, I get bored with all the talking, and second of all, I suck at the combat. So, that could be a potential problem in the future. Here we go. Yeah, let's go to here. I'm just going to explore this whole place. Um, 
Go All right. For today's video. I'll explore them more. Done. Today. That will do for today. Uh, but I'm going to try and do at least one a week of these, possibly more. It's going to depend on the kind of time I have and how much I actually enjoy it. Here we go. Let's talk to Ivenny. You see a slight young woman with pale features. The sunken flesh around her cheeks and neck makes her appear as if she is starving. She seems intent on dissecting the corpse in front of her, prodding the chest with a finger. Greetings. The woman does not respond. She seems too intent on the body in front of her. As you watch her work, you suddenly notice her hands. Her fingers are like talons. They are darting in and out of the corpse's chest cavity like knives, removing organs. What's wrong with your hands? The woman makes no response. Tap the woman. Get her attention. Tap her. The woman jumps and whips around to face you. Her eyes are a rotting yellow with small orange dots at the pupils. As she sees you, her expression changes from surprise to irritation as she frowns at you. Uh, greetings? She doesn't seem to have heard you. She leans forward, squinting as if she can't quite make you out. Whatever is wrong with her eyes must make her terribly nearsighted. You! She clacks her talon fingers together and makes a strange motion with her hands. Find thread and embalming juice. Bring here to Ivene. Go! 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 You have been assigned a quest. Quests are displayed in your diary in the quest portion of your journal. See all the quests you've assigned from there. Uh, you've been assigned this lesson, so you collect quests from the journal menu. Uh, Updated my journal. Quests from the journal menu. Journal, journal, please. Journal screen. Quests. Find Far. Oh, from what more read from the direction tattooed on my back. I need to find someone named Farad. I'm not certain where to start looking. Hope that's not going because in this strange place will allow me to track him down. Okay, find your missing journal. Uh, I was supposed to have a journal with me when I woke up in the mortuary. I better find it. Hopefully it can help me figure out what's going on. And find embalming fluid and needle for Ivene. Okay. Um, back. What's... Oh, cool. So I have a proper journal thing as well. Uh, blah, da, 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 da. Oh, these are the set of directions tattooed on my back. Um, I know you feel like you've been drinking a few kegs of sticks wash, but you need to centre yourself. Among your possessions is a journal that will shed some light on the dark of the matter. Farad can fill you in on the rest of the chant if he's not in the dead book already. Don't lose the journal or we'll be up the sticks again. Uh, well, crap, because I've kind of done that, sorry. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone who you are or what happens to you, or they'll put you on a quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you, read the journal, then find Farad. Uh, to leave this message for myself, looks like I need to find this out. I'm going to simply scribe. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm bored of that now. Done. I am done. So, I need to find some thread for Ivene here. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I haven't got Alright. And uh, I guess I'm not supposed to kill these zombie workers anymore, so. <laughs> Shut up, zombie worker. Alright. Well, now I'm out of places to go. Alright. How am I supposed to get up or down? Done. Okay, let's try here. Oh, there's doors. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Done. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Guys, can you please post in the comments how I move both my party members at the same time? Is that a thing I can actually do? Um, that would be really nice Done. to know. By the way, these videos will not stretch longer than 30 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on the time because I know uh, watching you play this for more than 30 Done. minutes at a time will be absolute to Done. you. I could probably play a few hours now, but I'm not going to. I'm All right. good to you people and also to my uploads because about half an hour is about uh, the limit of what I can upload in a reasonable time. It takes about four hours to upload half an hour of video. Uh, all right. Because of all the rendering I do. But we shall see. I mean, it's probably not worth doing 720p uh, for this, but I'm going to try it anyway and see how it comes out. If it's crap, let me know in the comments, and I'll do lower quality videos for these in the future. And then I can do from the I'm gone. longer. I'm gone. Okay, that contender's locked, and I can't bash it. Yes, stairs, all no, right. below. I want to go below. Uh, doors locked. I'm going to have to go up the stairs, evidently. Okay, so the game is saved. That's a good start. Loading. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Yes! All right. I'm playing the game and it's not crashing. This is the best. Oh, here we go. Oh, like I just select them like that. 
Well, now I feel stupid. Skeleton workers. Yeah, they're not going to kill me either. That's good. You there, hold. Let's speak to this dustman. The dustman regards you with a stony gaze. Are you lost? Um, no, I'm not lost. I had some questions. You're not lost. What is your business here? Um, oh, I work for No, I'm not supposed to say that. Um, I'm here to see someone. Who are you here to see? I'm here to see Dahl. Dahl is most likely in the room. We've seen him around the second floor. He's quite busy and not in the best of health. Let's see how pressing business I will not disturb him. Very well, thanks for the information. That's okay then. So, uh, I think Dumb. we attacked and killed. You there, hold. Why? Needle and thread. Yes, done it. I, Vene, loves me. He lost. No, I'm not lost. Blah, blah, blah. I'm here to see someone. I'm here to see Dahl. Very well, thanks for the information. Uh, All right. I don't want them to start beating me up because I don't want to start having a fight every time I get into a fight. Dumb. I like how I can just steal stuff though and no one seems to care. Dumb. That turns up. I was going to pick up everything because, like, All right. uh, the only RPGs I really played before are like. Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, either like MMOs, like WoW, in which case you're supposed to pick up everything. I'm gone. Here, or like uh, Skyrim, uh, Done. Elder Scrolls and stuff, by Bethesda. Why can't I hit M to get in there, but not M to get out? That's really bugging me. So, I mean, I'll survive. Did I leave more behind? Yes. I don't know why. I'm gone. Let's go in here. Um, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for a key on I so I can get into the lower levels. And some embalming fluid. I have the needle and thread. Okay, I need a key for that. Oh, let's talk to this bloke again. Uh, are you lost? No. You're not lost. What is your business here? There's none of your concern. Oh, crap. Snap his neck. <laughs> no, so now I'm going to have to fight everyone all the time. Okay then, I should have been able to see that. Response. Uh, I this game isn't really about the combat right. like I'm supposed to be uh, avoiding it as much as possible. Oh yeah, it can be a dustman now. So, uh, jagged knife, that's probably better than a scalpel. Screw really that scalpel. Dustman's robe, I'm going to put them on. Yes, now I look like a dustman. Oh, I have the environment fluid. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm, let's save the game. Decadoli, save game. Um, let's save it here. Please enter a save game title. Doctor Gaming number one. Number one. No, oh, okay. Doesn't have a All right. That's fine. Maybe with the adjustments robes on, they'll leave me alone. Or maybe not. But that's okay, because I'm just going to take this stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, top I'm going to sell all this stuff later. I see that's how it's done. Steal from the cabinet. Mortuary Sanctum key. I have a key now. Does that let me in here? Uh, I don't know where the Sanctum is. I'm gone. Yes, here we go. Oh really? It's all right, like, all right. Stairs. Did I? Can go down? Can't go down? I don't know. I don't. I've explored everywhere up here. Not quite, but I want to get below, don't I? Like that was the thing. Full oh, hammer. Is that better than a, a scalpel? Done. Let's have a look. Hammer, hammer. Uh, one to six crushing. One to three slashing. Okay! I'm really out of space in this thing. I should Done. Up pick up everything I see ever. But at least now I have a hammer. Oh wait, why don't I have Dustman's robes anymore? That was strange. Okay, I'm gone. so I can go down now. Yes! Alright. Oh, so I had to attack them anyway. Oh, why am I holding the scalpel? 
Okay, so it looks like to use the hammer, I have to not wear the robes. Uh, I don't know why. Usable only in the mortuary. Oh, right. It doesn't matter, like, I'll look like I'm wearing the thing. It doesn't matter anyway, because they're already looking for me, so I may as well not wear it and look like a badass. Done. All right. So this is interesting. Like, uh, I'm done. I'm not super enjoying it so far, but I'm not hating it either. Like I thought I perhaps might. Like I've hated other games like this. Done. I mean, I did play Neverwinter Nights for a while, and that was alright. So you know. Oh hey. She is strikingly beautiful ghostly form before you. Her arms are crossed and her eyes are closed. She has long flowing hair and her gown seems stirred by some ethereal breeze. As you watch, she stirs slightly and her eyes flicker. Uh, greetings. You! What is it that brings you here? Oh. Have you come to see firsthand the misery you have wrought? Perhaps in death I still hold some shred of use for you, my love. My love? Okay, is that the only bit of audio we get? Uh, lovely. Nice to see the budget was going on important things. The spirit went to begging Rachel with her hands. How can it be that the thieves of mine continue to steal my name from your memory? Do you not remember me, my love? The ghost stretches out her arms. Think. Her voice becomes desperate again. The name Deonara must evoke some memory with you. Um, should I lie? Should I lie? Uh, no, no, I'm not going to lie actually. I'm going to try and be good in this playthrough and not be a dick, even though generally I'm good at being a dick in games. Um, I think I feel the stirrings of memory. Tell me more. Perhaps your words shall chase the shadows from my mind, Deonara. Oh, at last the fates show mercy. Even death cannot chase me from your mind, my love. Do you not see? Your memory shall return. Tell me how I can help you when I shout. Okay, so that sounds awesome. Um, do you know who I am? You are one both blessed and cursed, my love, and you are one who is never far away from my thoughts and heart. Blessed and cursed? What do you mean? The nature of your curse should be apparent, my love. Look at you. She points at you. That's me. Uh, death rejects you. Your memories have abandoned you. Do you not pause and wonder why? Well, it's, um, I'm still trying to get my bearings, actually. What else can you tell me about myself? Uh, I know that you once claimed you loved me, and that you would love me until death claimed us both. I believe that, never knowing the truth of who you were, what you were, and what am I. You, I, cannot. She suddenly freezes, she speaks slowly, carefully, as if her voice frightens her. The truth is this, you are one who dies many deaths. These deaths have given the knowing of all things mortal, and in your hand lies the spark of life and death. Those that die near you carry a trace of themselves that you can bring forth. As Deonara speaks the words, a crawling sensation wells up in the back of your skull. And you suddenly feel compelled to look at your hand. As you lift it up and look at it, you can see the blood coursing sluggishly through your arm, pouring into your muscles and in turn giving strength to your bones. Updated what? my journal. Holy shit, that was awesome. And you know Deonara is right. You suddenly remember how to coax the dimmest spark of life from, from a body and bring it forth. The thought both horrifies you and intrigues you. Oh yeah, gained a special ability. You have remembered how to raise others from the dead. To access this ability, select the special abilities button in the quick menu. You can only use this on party members that have died in your presence. It will not work on anyone who does not travel with you, and it will not work on party members you remove from the party while they are dead. Okay, so like if Mort dies, I can bring him back. So that's excellent. Uh, what is it you wish to know? Uh, can you tell me who I am? Can you tell me where I am? I know where I am. I need to escape this place, though. Can you help me? If you're about to ask Dana right this question, it comes in your throat. It can see that if you tell her you are looking for an escape route, she may feel you are abandoning her. If you are going to ask her how to leave, you need to be delicate about it. 
Dear Nala, I'm in danger. Can you go into a place of safety? I shall return as soon as I can to speak to you again. Yes, manipulate the ghost. In danger? Dayanara looks concerned. Of course, my love. I will aid you any way I can. Deceive the ghost, plus one. She closes her eyes for a moment, and you watch an ethereal zephyr pass through her body, stirring her hair. After a moment, the zephyr dies, and her eyes slowly open. Perhaps there is a way. Yes, more experience. I'll be level two in no time. I sense that this place holds many doors shrouded from mortal eyes. Perhaps you could use one of these portals as a means of escape. Portals? Portals are holes in existence, leading to destinations in the inner and outer planes. If you could find the proper key, you could escape through one of them. Key? Dayanara pauses for a moment, as if attempting to remember. Portals will reveal themselves when you have the proper key. Unfortunately, these keys can be almost anything. An emotion, a piece of wood, a dagger of silvered glass, a scrap of cloth, a tune you hum to yourself. I fear that the dustmen are the only ones who would know the keys that you could use to leave their halls, my love. Then I shall ask one of them. Farewell, Dayanara. Hold a moment. I learned much when I travelled with you, my love, and what you have lost I have retained. I have not divulged all that I know to you. My sight is clear whilst you fumble in the darkness for a spark of thought. Uh, and what is it your sight sees that I do not? I am interested. Time itself relaxes its hold as the chill of oblivion slowly claims us, my love. Glimpses of things yet to come swarm across my vision. I see you, my love. I see you as you are now, and Dianara goes quiet. Uh, why are you suddenly silent? Is your own thing tired? You're not me. What is it? What do you see? I see what lies ahead for you. It ripples through the plane, stemming outward from this point. Shall I speak of what I see? Tell me. First I require a promise. I promise you will return, that you will find some means to save me or join me. Uh, for now, the price of such price to lie, I swear I will find such means. It's no such promise, but this is not what you just what you wish me I can't want to swear to her. I swear I will find some means to save me. This is what my eyes see, my love. Unfettered by the shackles of time. You shall meet enemies three but none more dangerous than yourself in your full glory. They are shades of evil, of good, and of neutrality, given life and twisted by the laws of the plains. You shall come to a prison built of regrets and sorrow, where the shadows themselves have gone mad. There you will be asked to make a terrible sacrifice, my love, for the matter to be laid to rest you must destroy that which keeps you alive and be immortal no longer. I know that you must die while you still can. The circle must come to a close, my love. You were not meant for this life. You must find that which was taken from you and travel beyond into the lands of the dead. Updated my journal. Your ability to rise from the dead. I do believe that every incarnation weakens your thoughts and memories. You claim you have lost your memory. Perhaps it is a side effect of countless deaths. If so, what more will you lose than successive deaths? If you lose your mind, you will not even know enough to realize that you cannot die. You shall truly be doomed. Countless deaths? How long has this been going on? I do not truly know, except that it has gone on long enough. I shall wait for you in death's halls, my love. My love. see anything you want done differently uh, anything you'd like me to do with my character or on the channel in the future please leave a comment or email me at foctagaming at gmail.com thank you very much for watching I'll be back on Tuesday of course with the continuation of my Starcraft 2 commentaries and I'll be back at some point in the next seven days with the second part of Let's Play Planescape Torment thank you very much for watching